Hi from Vestros, Sweden. Fight Club Rush presents three five-minute rounds in the professional featherweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner. This is his professional debut, weighing in at 66.3 kilograms. From Finland, Missy Sarista. And his opponent in the red corner with a record of one win and two defeats. Weighing in at 66.3 kilograms. Fighting out of Belfast. Representing all of Ireland, Glenn McVeigh. Your referee in charge of the action, Matthias Huedien. Matthias Huedien pulling double duty here as we get set for this featherweight fight here. And our first professional contest here at FCR 12. As mentioned, Glenn McVeigh has had taken some tough fights. His lone victory is against Abdul Manap Magomedov, who Saristo was supposed to fight yeah. in the IMAFs. And uh, Abdul Manap Magomedov, as the name suggests, is a, an extremely, <laughs> extremely good wrestler. Two nice kicks there from Saristo to begin. Oh. Saristo coming in there like he has been off for a while, like he's been itching to get back inside the cage. Yeah. Nice use of kicks sir, from Saudi yep. and He's really varied with his kicks. He's already he's thrown body kicks, leg kicks, and head kicks. Nice takedown attempt from McVeigh. Very nice intensity here from McVeigh. Oh, absolutely. A lot of intense behind those shots. Well, he's an intense interview too. I mean, I don't think the interview, pre-fight interview was released perhaps because of the amount of F-bombs he dropped, but I mean, he's, he, he embodies that fighting Irish mentality, I'll tell you that. An interesting fact that these two actually shared a ride from the airport together, so they were kind of hanging out for about a, yeah, a little bit over an hour. First, we met at the airport, and then we were picked up together, driven in the van. They arrived at the FCR office together for taking pictures, but it's all business now. <laughs> Solid work here from McVeigh. Also solid work from Saristo. I like that kick. Nice, yeah. I like that kick and then back to it. Picking your moments, yeah. Yeah, very nice work. And this is taxing also. If you've been off for four years, taking the fight on five days notice, this kind of tempo, it needs to be emulated in training. Who knows if it has? And McVeigh is coming off of a draw against uh, all-star zone Bilal Tipsayev. In a fight that definitely had his fair share of controversy with a point deduction and things like that. I have spoken to McVeigh about it. He said that it is a fight he was interested in running back. As he works his way to the back here. Speaking of running it back. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm not the only one with puns, I see. Yeah, solid defensive work here. But now the neck is a, a bit exposed. Oh, It'd be a little tough against the cage, though. Yeah, not impossible, but, you know, perhaps not ideal if you're trying to score a rear naked choke. Oh, yeah, Silas so tries to spin out. He shouldn't oh. explode like that. Yes. Oh, that looks... It's not actually yeah, not in. Quite or oh, partially under the chin. Yeah, a little partially. hard to see. Oh, it's getting tight. It's getting tight now. Oh, look at that grimace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Yeah. Wow. There's the tap. First round submission for Glenn McVeigh. The welcome to FCR. Wow, talk about a debut worth mentioning here. Quick finish for McVeigh. And he's pointing to somebody in the crowd, perhaps yeah. the Irish fans. Or perhaps the All-Stars corner. Could be. He has had some choice words for Team All-Stars, I'll tell you that. And I suspect that the fight that he wants to run back might very well be planned as we speak. That's it. I can see the flag. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Matthias Hwedien calls to stop the contest at three minutes and five seconds of round number one. For your winner by a rear naked choke, Glenn McVeigh! Yes. All right, I'm here if your winner, Glenn McVeigh. That was an impressive performance. You took him down almost right away, controlled him on the ground and got the tap. Was that basically what the game plan was or was it a response to all the kicks he was throwing your way? Um, to be honest, I wanted to blow his face off, but when I started slinging on him, I was just like, damn, I'll just, I'll take him down and submit him because Bilal Tupsayev, you're fucking next. And I wanted to get through with no injuries. So taking him down, Submitting him, easiest choice. Well, I mean, definitely. We do have a show coming out in September, and you are completely unscathed, ready to compete in that. You mentioned Bilal Tipsayev. You guys had a draw uh, last year in a fight that you had, so that seems like a fight that will be getting run back. Can he come in? I think we couldn't get Bilal Tipsayev inside the cage because I think this is a rematch. It's going to happen. Let's keep it cool, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Bilal. Bilal, what did you think about his fight here in FCR? It was good performance, but he won't do the same thing to me. I wrestle, I wrestle, I wrestle. Yeah. Style. Do you expect him to, to be able to throw some wrestling your way in the rematch? <laughs> this is another level, brother. He's wrestling against mine. It's another level. Okay. And Glenn, what do you think? What will be the difference now in the rematch as opposed to the first fight? I'm going to take his chin off. Easy. All right, Bilal, do you have... That's how Irish people do it, motherfucker. Bilal, do you have a response? Let's we'll see. All right. Well, I do suspect this will be planned for the next Fight Club rush. So, ladies and gentlemen, we already have an exciting rematch ready to look forward to. Up until then, let's hear for your winner, Ireland's own Glenn McVeigh. 